Welcome to the State Television Company of Western Armenia, today's broadcast. The President of National Council of Western Armenia, Mr. Armin Akabrahamian, struggled for justice on the forcibly displaced residents of Arsakh. The speech of Artan Simonian, Vars Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Western Armenia. The forced deportation of Armenians from Arsakh reminds U.S. genocide against Armenians at the beginning of the 20th century. Baku is going to present the map of Armenia at the UN. Another culture victim of Baku is the statue of national figure of Armenia, Alek Manikyan. The Archaeological School Fani International Conference. Mr. Armen Agabrahamian struggled for justice on the forcibly displaced residents of Artsakh. The historical city of Shushi in the region of the Artsakh Republic became the focal point of the recent war between the indigenous peoples of Artsakh and Azerbaijan, which were mentioned by brutal violence and destruction and caused to force displacement of many Armenian residents, loss of property, livelihoods, and severe psychological problems. This process involved thorough preparation, gathering of substantial evidence, and a deep understanding of ethnic cleansing, genocide, and international human rights law. Mr. Armen Agabrahamian's application aims to create a precedent for the protection of displaced persons during similar conflicts. With this point, Mr. Armin Agabrahamian not only solves the immediate needs of the exiles, but also strengthens the global framework for the protection of human rights, starting with the genocide against the Armenians in Western Armenia. Despite lengthy and often difficult legal processes, he continues his enduring efforts, which are not only any evidence to his dedication, but also show that he is a big kind of hope for people who have lost their homes and livelihoods due to war. The speech of Artan Simonian, Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Western Armenia. First of all, I would like to thank the President for their trust in me. As the Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs, my mission is to protect, first of all, the interest of Western Armenia as well as the interest of Armenians around the world. Armenians living in foreign countries are the descendants of the survivors of the genocide committed against Armenians by the Turks. They are scattered around the world, which ultimately makes our nation great. We have received feedback from around the globe to support us, Artsakh, as well as recommendations to participate together in the revival of our nation. Together, I want to awaken the feeling of patriotism in everyone and return them to their roots. We are proud to belong to Western Army and making our voices heard everywhere. Here, I want to congratulate our President Mr. Armen Agabrahamian for his tremendous work that he has done to create all this. We own him a lot for Western Armenia. There are our lands and our rights. This is why we talk with the President about the work we did in the embassies. The embassies that recognize the genocide committed against our people should understand that any recognition of a crime requires compensation for the victims and losses. We must encourage design groups of young people who can also bring their ideas and then into his mount our art is ours. It will be always ours and there will come a day when the meeting will take place. And in conclusion, I would like to talk to you for a moment about Palestine, who are also fighting for their homeland and that we must recognize the right of Palestine to freedom and independence. The forced deportation of Armenians from Artsakh reminds us genocide against Armenians at the beginning of the 20th century. The Russian Armenian Lazarian Club, which is a united border for par politicians, experts, and diplomats of the two countries, joined the program Lemkin Genocide Prevention Institute. I should mention that they are collecting signatures in Baku demanding the release of the leaders of Artsakh and other Armenian prisoners. This is stated in the message of the club. The offers also point out that the threat to the existence and cultural or historical identity of Armenian religious and cultural monuments, churches and monasteries in Artsakh. Therefore, they announced the intention of creating a special expert group for Lazarian Club to carry out monitoring for the preservation of monuments. They are also concerned about the recorded attempts that deprive our compatriots who were forcibly displaced from Artsakh in Eastern Armenia of their citizenship and civil rights. It is emphasized that their return to their homes, the fate of Armenian culture, religious and monuments are an urgent but incomplete list of problems. They express their condolence to Armenian population of Artsakh for the tragedy, noting that it is reminiscent of the effects of the genocide against Armenians condemned by the international community at the beginning of the 20th century. Baku is actively preparing to use the 29th UN Climate Change Conference against Eastern Armenia, said an expert that have in a conversation with Sputnik Armenia analyzing information from Baku sources. 
According to the expert, the environmental propaganda campaign will be carried out in two directions. It will be presented how Eastern Armenia has illegally exploited the natural resources of Artsakh. In the other case, it will be represented as the most polluting country in the region. According to him, in the map they intend to prepare, they emphasize that they will use the allegedly Azerbaijani place names on our territories. In other words, they will completely distort the geographical names of our state by translating them into different languages, distorting the facts, and trying to make it part of the agenda. Moreover, in addition to environmental and political problems, Baku is always trying to solve an economic problem in this way by creating artificial obstacles for Armenian economic facilities. Another cultural victim of Baku is the statue of national figure of Armenian Alec Manigan. Baku continues to destroy a monument in occupied Artsakh, and this policy is implemented at the state level, the goal of which is to completely destroy the Armenian footprint. Hovi Gavanes, of the Ombudsman of the Cultural Heritage of the Armenian Highlands, writes about this on his Facebook page. As a warning, a video was published from the capital of Artsakh, Stepanagat, from the preliminary study and analysis. It becomes obvious that the statue of philanthropist national figure Alec Manukyan has become another victim of cultural genocide in Baku. Article 8 of the International Criminal Court considers the destruction of cultural heritage in the occupied territories an international war crime. It is forbidden to deliberately direct attack on structure dedicated to religion, education, art, science or charitable purposes, historical monuments, hospitals, unless they are military targets. And according to Article 4 of the 1954 Hague Convention on the Protection of Cultural Values in Armed Conflicts and any act of vandalism, death, robbery, misappropriation, any meeting and reprisal against cultural heritage is prohibited. Reminded of of on international laws. The three-day international conference entitled Tanya Archaeological School has started in the History Museum of Armenia. This year is celebrated the 160th anniversary of the leader of the Anik Zephation Expedition. Nikola Mar and the prominent researcher of Anis architecture, Toros Toromanian, as well as the 114th anniversary of Asharbek Kalantar, one of the key members of the expedition and the organizer of archaeological work in Armenia. David Bogosian, director of the History Museum of Armenia, highlights the conference dedicated to the 120th anniversary of the regular exhibitions and the creation of the Ani Museum and the anniversaries of three prominent researchers who, in addition to the exhibition, also undertook the museumization process of the materials. During the international conference, more than four dozen reports are planned, the topics of which refer to the history of Ani, the study of culture and museumization of covering the fields of history, archaeology, lithography, architecture, museology, cultural studies, and art studies. This was all for today. Goodbye.